Noise is off. The play that goes wrong. Spam a lot. Dark comedy. All modern day comedies that, in part, owe their existence to the original production of Thornton Wilder's The Skin of Our Teeth. And it all seems a little cliche to credit such landmark comedies to a landmark play written by an old dead white guy, but we do have to just hike up our big girl pants and admit that this time, it's personal. But pointing out that society is built upon the stooped over backs of white men is not the wokeness I'm trying to instill in this video. No, we are, in fact, pointing out that a lot of fourth wall breaking in comedy rests on the shoulders of the skin of our teeth, and that its themes are ever relevant, even in 2020. There's the obvious with the character Sabina, who in the OG production was played by T Little Bankhead Darling, and Darling, it's a smash, Darling. Sabina is this frou-frou maid who has never seen anything like this shit before, Darling. And all this, and the stage manager and the stagehands kept popping in and out and interrupting what I'm sure was to be a Tony-nominated performance, Darling. And all the while, I had the most vile dialogue that has ever been penned to paper, darling. And so, I just yuck it up, you know, like Tallulah Bankhead is known to do. And turn to the audience and tell them, isn't this shit terrible? <laughs> uh, I completely shattered the fourth wall, darling. You know those things were written into the script. Says who? Thornton Wilder. <laughs> Thornton Wilder. <sighs> that hack. It won a Pulitzer. It won a Pulitzer. Who do you think you're talking to, darling? Tallulah Bankhead? That's right. And you must be gay, darling. I am. How do you know? You haven't gone down on me yet. No, and I won't. I haven't asked you. I wouldn't answer. And see, this is part of what made the show so revolutionary. You completely break the fourth wall by not only addressing the audience, but commenting on the play and featuring stagehands and a stage manager as part of the main action, especially in act one. And this would play into later comedies by pointing out the theatricality of an event and stuff. Isn't that kind of cool? Very posh, darling, very posh. Oh, Mama needs a drink. Mama is a lizard. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay, cool. I think oh, I could help a bit. Montgomery Clift? I could say something about themes and stuff. I really take that stuff to heart. You know, it's pretty cool that you followed all that method acting stuff, even if it really wasn't all that healthy. You shut your damn mouth. Anyway, I think what really makes this play brilliant is the universalities that Wilder wrote into the script. Disasters, whether or not they are man-made or natural, such as the Ice Age or the Flood or the War featured in Act 3, are all inevitable. And the characters have no way of fighting them other than with their meager means. Very insightful. And I agree with that, and raise you even that the appearance of the refugees and the pop culture references via the news reporters also add an element of satire and nuance to the story that give it some sort of glue between the acts. And I did not kill that kid with a rock. No one said you did. I didn't. Okay. It's just thematic because Thornton Wilder, some people think, wrote a creation story by dropping references such as Eva in the song Mrs. Antrobus sings in Act 1, or referencing me as some sort of Cain figure, although I did not hit him with a rock. Or that flood in Act 2, that flood was biblical. Do you think this thing could be produced today? This thing could be done today with me as Sabina if the audience brought a Ouija board and a bottle of scotch. <sighs> Darling. Oh. You're back. You bet your balls. I think this play could be done today, darling, if the references were a little edgier. 
with as far as we've gone in terms of physical comedy and lack of meekness about the body and sex and drugs, I think it could be a shoe in for a Broadway season if it just wasn't so damned weird, darling. And everyone could play it method. No, no, we don't need any more people dying right now. Well, if your job doesn't kill you, you're not doing it right. Don't argue with the homo. If I don't, who will? Exactly. Thank you both for being here. I've got to rein this in now. I think given what Tallulah and Monty have said, it's a piece of literature that can't be understated in terms of the American drama canon, but often is because other shows have come along and done the comedy, biblical allegory, and fourth wall breaking better and bigger. But we shouldn't forget it, because it can be retrofitted to any era and still make people think. Good literature does that.